Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and I will give you some tips and tricks today. Today I will not answer any question from any subscriber or from any friends of mine through email or WhatsApp or Facebook. Today I will tell you one tips and tricks which I recently encountered. Since I'm working now at home, and um, most of my projects are coming from UK, UAE, and Saudi. There is one specific dilemma that I always encounter being a freelancer. Okay, and that is what to check if your client sends you a lot of files. Okay, so for example, I have this one. So Nelka, another design for you, and boom! He will send me this kind of files, a lot of it. I will tell you, not all of these files are necessary for your lighting design. Okay, so today I will tell you what are those files or I will tell you the list of files which you need to look at when you receive files from clients. Okay, so number one is dun -dun -dun, floor plans. Okay. So these are the files now that I downloaded from that email. So first you need to get the floor plans. So what are the what is the floor plans? The floor plan are the drawings like um where you can see those um <laughs> those um walls, windows, furniture layouts and everything. For example like this one. So this is the floor plan, okay? And another tip is what if you receive a PDF file instead of CAD file, what you should do. Because right now I have CAD file, which is, where is my CAD file? Uh, here, this one is the CAD file. But what if you don't have, if the client sent you only the PDF or JPEG, so what you should do? Okay, the good thing about Dialux Evo now is you can import now uh, the JPEG file to Dialux Evo as your base plan okay if you want to learn that one check my other videos or go and enroll in my upcoming course which is uh, basics of lighting design so here we will discuss about the theory of lighting design the technical of lighting design the lighting design and art software used in lighting designs and i will give you some sample projects so go and check that one if it's not there yet in udemy please bear with me udemy will check then um because before publishing it it should be perfect and complete the second one is oh okay of course if you want to learn what how to read the cad file yeah i would like to suggest go and enroll on that course because some of the lighting designers i know unfortunately don't know how to read the CAD file they don't know which one is the wall unless it is specified in the layers because they don't have the basic knowledge in AutoCAD okay so the next thing you need to ask or to check in the email is uh, section drawings so why is important to check the section drawings for example I have here a section drawings yes this is a section drawing so you can see here there is basement 2 1 cafe and then indoor sports hall yes you need to get the section drawing because in the section drawing it will tell you the ceiling height because in the lighting design calculation it is very very important that you find out or you know the ceiling height for example in the basement you see this one it's 3.9 but that one is from floor to slab what if there is a drop ceiling like here in the cafe it's mentioned it's three meters but it's from floor to slab how about this one maybe this is a drop ceiling we don't know so the next thing is after the floor plans and the section drawings you need to look for the rcp or reflected ceiling plan this is just another case because sometimes the client doesn't have the section so just look for the rcp or reflected ceiling plan example is this yeah so this is a reflected ceiling plan uh like what i mentioned some clients doesn't have the section drawing they only have the reflected ceiling plan so what is the importance of the reflected ceiling plan in this case you can see there's a legend on the ceiling in this rcp 
For example, this hatch means something. It might be a concrete ceiling or a drop ceiling, gypsum board. This one may be a laminated ceiling or a 60 by 60 ceiling we don't know the importance of the reflected ceiling plan is the height you can see here ch plus 2.9 that means it's 2.9 ceiling height from the finished floor for example in the toilet where's my toilet or bath it's 2.4 this type of ceiling let's say this is a gypsum board ceiling it says it's 2.4 from the finished floor level while this one you can see it's 2.55 so it's a little higher compared to this one maybe this side has cove light that's why it's like that okay so next thing after this the drawings the floor plans the sections you need to look for the rcp which is this and the the, the fourth one is the specifications Okay, so the specification is very important because some clients already have the specification sheets. Okay, this is one of the example of the lighting uh, specifications. They sometimes put it like that, like this format, like in table. Sometimes the specification is arranged in uh, Excel format or sometimes it's a Word file. So just go and check that one. Next is, and the last one is the lighting design requirements. I already showed you one. It's, it should mention the lux level requirements and the overall uniformity for every room. Like say this one, for example, in the retail unit, it's mentioned here that that retail unit should have at least 300 lux with a LED recess luminaire okay so that is the lighting design requirements sometimes it is uh labeled differently okay i will take a look of some of the examples okay so for example this one uh the lighting design requirements will be put in excel file so for example in this project see i highlighted it already for, for the reception in waiting areas, for example, they asked to provide a 150 lux, okay? And they need to have down lighters and emergency fitting. So that's it. Go and check all those five items only and you are good to go to run your lighting design calculations. So if you receive a huge file from your client, I'm sure that you will spend a lot of time checking those files and read it. But those five items, which are uh, the floor plans, the section drawings, the RCP or reflected ceiling plan, specification, and lighting design requirements are good enough for you to start working on your lighting design calculations. Okay, so don't forget to uh, take note of those five items okay so these are the basic uh, very basic infos those five items are really basic info for lighting design so if you want to learn more don't forget to enroll in my udemy course about the basics of lighting design okay so see you again on the next tips and tricks about lighting design bye